Hey, welcome to Cal Free Kicks. On this channel, I review leather free sneakers only, and today I'm really excited to bring you a fresh plant based drop from Reebok. Is the Reebok Forever Float Ride Grow? So welcome to the channel. If you're new and you haven't seen one of my videos before, I always look into five main things when I review a pair of sneakers. I think every single one of those aspects makes an all round good lifestyle shoe. At the end of the video, I'll take all of those different things into account and give them an overall rating out of five stars. If you like what you see as we're going along, do not forget to click the little thumbs up like button below on your device. And if you really like the video and want to show your support, you can take two seconds just to subscribe to the channel below by clicking the little subscribe button and also the little bell that pops up and you'll get a notification every time a fresh video drops on the channel. So before I hold you up any longer, let's kick this review off of these Reebok Forever Float Ride Grow Shoes by showing you how they look on feet. So the Reebok Forever Float Ride Grow Shoes do look good on feet and I think they look all right in hand but they just don't look as good and as pumped up and as tall as they did when I saw them online. When they're in hand and on feet they've got much more of a low profile than I thought they would do but I still think they look good. I do think the colorway is a little bit bland and doesn't really have too much to offer. This kind of neutral beige straw colorway is easily forgotten about but there is a reason why they've possibly gone with this very neutral and natural based colorway. It's because really what this sneaker stands for, which is absolutely incredible, and it really stands for sustainability because this sneaker is almost exclusively made out of plant-based materials, which is absolutely incredible and part of the sustainability movement that you're really seeing in the sneaker industry at the moment. The reason why it's almost made exclusively out of plant-based products is because of the main materials used on the shoe. Now, the upper of the sneaker here is made out of eucalyptus tree bark. This textile has really been formed nicely from this eucalyptus material. We've got some nice bobble perforations on the top of the toe box area. Unfortunately, these sneakers did cover the small blemish, which may have been from the manufacturing process, which is a little bit of a letdown. So you can see that there on the toe box area. But as you move through to the lace, lace loops, you can see that they're surrounded by a hardened canvas material that does feel like it could be this eucalyptus tree upper but just in a harder form. Then you've got TPU detailing for the Reebok branding over the top. Round to the heel cup it's definitely more hardened again with a harder canvas feel to it. You've got a float ride logo just there. Move around to the back you've got a dark straw colour for the heel pull with the Reebok branding. Move around to the side again it's just the exact mirror image of the other side of the shoe. Now, as you move into the insole of the sneaker, this is made from an algae-based EVA foam, which is also incredible. And then you get to the midsole, which has got this nice crisscross hatching effect, which has also got some bobbles on it. This is made from castor beans. Castor beans, float ride energy mid foam that is made from castor beans. Incredible. Flip the shoe onto the bottom and you've got an amazing gum sole. Absolutely love gum sole, so big thumbs up for that. Next, I want to put this castor bean mid sole to the test on the curb.
This plant-based castor bean float ride energy foam midsole offers a huge amount of comfort. You can see from the step test that I like to do on the curb when I can, that it is incredibly responsive and it offers really, really nice bounce. Now you don't get a lot of midsole with this sneaker, but you do get a nice flow of midsole from the toe area through to the heel. There's a nice amount on the toe and you can feel that bounce and responsiveness as you walk in on your toes, but also on the heel and the midfoot of the shoe as well. I think comfort wise, these are a real surprise. I wasn't expecting too much from a castor bean midsole, but to be honest, these really have surprised me nicely and they do offer a very nice, comfortable, bouncy, responsive ride. They also are an absolute true fit. You do not need to go half a size up or half a size down. Go with whatever size you would normally go with if you're buying a pair of Reeboks or Adidas shoes, because for me, they fit absolutely perfectly. Next, I wanna move on to their weight, where I'm gonna pop them on the scales to see how much this plant-based sneaker weighs. Whoa, coming in at 292 grams. What an incredible weight for a pair of sneakers. These are made as a running shoe. They are not gonna let you down comfort wise and also weight wise. Also as a lifestyle sneaker, you wanna wear these out and about on a daily basis, you're gonna get a comfortable ride all day and they are not gonna weigh your feet down. 292 grams is an absolutely incredible top weight for a pair of sneakers these days. Next, I wanna move on to their breathability to see how much breathability you're gonna get from this eucalyptus tree bark upper. So I run the smoke test where I pump the sneaker full of smoke to see how breathable the upper is. And this sneaker, this eucalyptus tree bark upper is incredibly breathable. You could see when it was running in slow motion that it just flew out of the upper in waves, just coating the sneaker in smoke. Really had no issues with the release from this sneaker at all. It was instant and in large amounts, almost almost maybe even on a par with the most breathable sneakers I've ever reviewed, which is the Vapormax Flyknit 2020s. Incredibly breathable sneaker, another notch in its cap. Next, I wanna move on to its price. Now these come in at 100 pounds. I think that price is absolutely spot on. I've got no issues with that at all, especially when you think about what this sneaker has been made with and the fact that it is almost exclusively made out of plant-based products, which I'm sure take a lot longer to manufacture and process than just the standard sneaker runs that they do all the time. That's gonna move me on to my overall score for this sneaker. Now I can't really give anything else other than five stars. This sneaker has really excited me about what could possibly be done with plant-based sneakers. The only area I think it falls down on a little bit is its looks, but I'm not gonna let that affect its overall score because it offers everything that you would possibly want from a lifestyle shoe with a comfortable, lightweight, breathable ride at a reasonable price. And also don't forget what you're doing to support the sustainability movement when you buy this pair of shoes. Now, if you've liked what you've seen today, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up with the like button below. You can also follow me on Instagram or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.